Hello and welcome back. My name is Jenea and I don't know why I say that so aggressively. Welcome back. Um, this is July's A Spooky Box unboxing. Um, it is the beginning of August. I think there was a little bit of a delay there normally is but they always keep you quite informed of what's going on. Um, this is the step into my parlor box I have got no idea what that means um, I can't even guess, I'm not going to guess because there, there's no clue in my head I have no idea what's in this box so let's get into it let's have a look and what is inside Right. Ooh, it's got a box. Right, let's leave the box to last. First things first. <laughs> Gourmet lollipop. We get one of these every month other than last month. I only noticed after I finished recording that we didn't actually get a lollipop in last month's box. We got uh, the sugar stirrer things instead, which for the record I did just eat. I did not use them in my, sh my tea. Um, again, doesn't say what flavour it is, wish it did, but it is a nice sort of yellowy gold and ready orange, so, and then, ooh, this looks like a necklace. This is a very big necklace. Oh, it's really pretty. It's like um a spider web on branches. That is gorgeous. I love spider webs and I love branches. Um I love spider webs. I don't particularly love branches, but these are cute. This is cute. Let's put it on. Can't really see it on my uh, big moon. Ooh, I love this. This is gorgeous. Love it. Strawberry compote tea. Mm, another tea. We got tea in last month's box. Uh, hibiscus blossom, freeze dried strawberry pieces, rose hip peel, apple pieces, dried elderberries, blackberry leaves, flavourings, freeze dried whole berry pieces, and freeze dried raspberry pieces. Sounds amazing. Hello, Knuff. Wow. That smells like, um,. It's almost like rhubarb and custard sweets, which it's not supposed to. It's supposed to smell like strawberry. But no, to me it definitely smells like rhubarb and custard sweets. But whatever it smells like, it smells amazing. I'm looking forward to drinking that. Um, oh, we have a pin, which is a spidery cup of tea. <laughs> Tea time enamel pin. That is cute. It's a little metal clasp on the back. <gasps> I see a theme. I see a tea theme. Ah, I do see a tea theme. Ah, spiders. Not real ones. Big spiders. Little, little, uh, confetti spiders. <laughs> this is Ashford. <gasps> This is so cute. It is a spoon with a skull. Kind of reminds me of a um, absinthe. Kind of reminds me a bit like an absinthe spoon. Let's put the sugar on it. Um, but I don't care. That is a pretty spoon. I've never had a pretty spoon before. <gasps> I'm guessing the box is a mug. That is my guess. Because <gasps> it's very tea themed. I don't know how this is tea themed. It is... um. Just pretty. 
Okay. We have a print, which is, funny enough, a stack of cups. It's pretty. Um, I guess the top ones are chocolate in it rather than like tea, like dribbling down. It's pretty. I probably won't put it up because it's just a stack of teacups, but it's pretty. I like it. And then we have a sticker. It's just a little, little ghosty sticker in the graveyard with a little witch's hat on. And then our box, which I don't know how to open. It's some lock, and it is. It's the same as the sticker. It is a little ghosty in a graveyard with a witch's hat on. <gasps> These are cute. What they give us the sticker of the mug. Is it the same size? It's literally the exact same size as the sticker on the mug. As the picture on the mug. It's cute though. This is cute. I don't know. Step into my parlour. I suppose people drink tea in parlour. Is that a thing? I don't have a parlour. Not that posh. But I do drink tea, so I'm happy. I love this because I'm a bit of a tea fiend. I don't drink coffee. I'm afraid to say it. I hate coffee. But I love tea. So, we got it. Uh, custom made little ghost mug. Custom made tea time enamel pin. Custom made little ghost vinyl decal, guessing that's the sticker. Uh, custom made caught in the web necklace, it's just gorgeous. Uh, spooky afternoon tea art print, sugar skull spoon, strawberry compote tea sampler, and handcrafted gourmet lollipop. So, this box is awesome! If you like tea, if you don't like tea, you probably won't like this box. Just saying, just a hint. Um, oh, I love it. I love tea. I love the sparks. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go make myself some strawberry compote tea that smells like rhubarb and custard. But I don't care. And I will tell you in the comments below if it's any good. Uh, the last box came with some mint tea, and I can tell you it was nice. And I'm still kind of drinking it now because it, it tastes like toothpaste in a good way, which is weird. But it just means that I can't drink it all the time because it's like a, you have to be in the mood for it kind of tea. But I'll tell you how this one goes. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my face, please subscribe, leave a comment. Um, a couple of you like leaving comments. I like replying. And if you want to subscribe, I'll leave the link down below. It does not have a discount, I'm afraid. It is just the link to the website. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And I hope to see you next time.